Keisha Shante. We have a very special show today. You know everything we do on 106 is all about you guys. And today, it's all about having your voices heard. As we all know, the recent grand jury decision sparked protests across the country. Peaceful protests like Hands Up, Don't Shoot, and I Can't Breathe have been powerful statements to grab the attention of a nation and even the world. As you know, President Obama has been vocal as well on the Mike, Garner and Eric, the Mike Brown and Eric Garner cases. So much so, he decided to sit down with BET News correspondent Jeff Johnson for a one-on-one -on -one interview discussing the recent grand jury decisions that have impacted the country, and we'll be playing a little of that interview later on in the show. To let your voice be heard right here on 106, make sure you use the hashtag 106BeHeard and tell us how you feel about the recent Decisions. We will read your tweets, play your Insta videos, and vines a little later on in the show. St. Louis Rams made a statement with putting their hands up. Uh, speaking of celebs being vocal, though, uh, B.O.B. is in the building. We're excited to talk to him. He's here to give his perspective on the recent decisions as well. Uh, someone who lets his voice be heard through his lyrics is Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne with God Bless America. So an organization that has been making a difference in America through peaceful protests is the Ferguson Action, which is a grassroots organization. And we'll talk to them a little later on in the show. Plus lawyer Mike Sean will help us break down um, this one is from That Girl MP. We as Black to be heard is President Obama's. Up next, we're gonna hear from the president and his perspective on why peaceful protesting can make a difference. Don't go anywhere, more 106. Keep hitting us up on social media and we'll be right back. Welcome back to a very special 106. Today is all about you at home and letting your voices be heard. We just saw a few Insta videos from our 106 Nation, and please, I know, uh, so you recently sat down with President Obama, yes. discussed the issues at hand. Um, what were some of the topics that were discussed? I mean, obviously we discussed what's happening here, yeah. creating a dissent decree and monitoring the police department in Cleveland. Yeah. And, and so we talked about- People feel like, well, can't President Obama fix it? Well, how much can he do? protests around the country, not a lot of people are saying, how is this protest now going to affect the 20 plus mayor? Let's take a look at a portion of the exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview with President Barack Obama and Jeff Johnson. President. I like it. Welcome back to a very special 106. That was President Obama discussing the recent grand jury decisions, which is why today's show is so important. Be sure to catch the full interview right after 106 in Park tonight. When um, so we're really glad that you chose to be a part of this important discussion today. I know your new mixtape is titled New Black. Um, and you said that the title was inspired from some tweets that you received on Twitter. Yeah. Can you um, tell us about that? Well, uh, basically, our prevalent today are on that mixtape, you know, and some songs are old, some songs are new. But, um, I mean, I've, honestly, I've... Time right now, I really feel like people are getting away with murder. Like, that's how I feel. Yeah. And it's beyond, I feel like people need to understand, yes, it's kind of a black and white issue, but it's also community versus government in the justice system, and the only people that can change it is us. I know you said provoked, and um, one of the tweets that you posted reads, as much as these times yes, say that... We don't, we don't all have to agree on, yeah, let's clap that up. On, I yeah. agree. Hey, we, don't, we don't necessarily have to go to school, homeless shelter, canned good giveaway, whatever, art schools, colleges, and just really talk to people and, and let them know, like... To look at yourself as a role model, for sure, in this I don't situation. really... I mean, it's... it's people... And loved ones in my life, too, they like, they like wearing black hoodies. I want them to feel safe yeah. when they go... Thoughts on the protests that are going on right now? The pro... I mean, I'm actually... I'm actually us, and they, they feel it, too, because it's... It, it's all... We just want to. We just want everyone to be treated equal. At the end of the day, you know, yeah. that's how we feel. But thank you so much, Bob, for coming by. Yeah. Organization Ferguson Action will be talking about what they've done to promote peaceful protests. But first, check out what President Obama had to say about being treated fairly by the police. That was a portion of the interview. BT News presents a conversation with President Barack Obama immediately following 106. I'm here with Ashley T. Dub, lead grassroots movement. Welcome to the show. We are so happy to have you um, and, and just to be a part of this. So first off, Ashley, uh, what is the mission for Ferguson Action? Uh, you got involved with this, but how did that happen? Can you break that down? Uh, it was actually a very organic ex experience. Uh, T. Dabo, uh, what do you say to those who are acting out violently right now? Am I talking to the police? He's uh, going to require, well, he's going to require body cameras on police officers. How will those body cameras prevent another crime? I think the moment we're in right now proves that they don't prevent any crime. Get involved, because we are all, we're so passionate about this. So what can we do to really make an impact? 
Uh, the first thing you can do is go back home, right? Mm -hmm. Take up next. <laughs> on such important I issues, and I, you know, I feel like we're constantly flooded with legal jargons. Like, I feel like people are always talking about stuff uh, and news stories that we sometimes don't fully understand. So can you just break down what is a grand jury and why they're important? Got it. Simply. Wow. Um, we have 106 Nation fan Jarrett here with a question. Jarrett, please ask. Know whether or not that testimony came out explaining why they did it. So right. we really just don't know right now. We don't. Um, should the prosecutors have gone with like a lesser charge um, other than murder in the Eric Garner case? Based on the information that yeah. we've seen. What can we do right now as individuals to make change happen? Like MLK said, mm -hmm. um, Injustice Anywhere done a great job to build awareness about the issues that face our communities, race, criminal justice. But then additionally, at least here in New York State, um, our governor, Governor Cuomo, and a number of legislators are proposing changes to the laws. That that's it. That's it. Clap it up. Exactly. Um, sharing your legal expertise. We'd like to hear that perspective. And for all updates regarding the case, be sure you log on to BET.com to stay informed. And one singer who's all about protesting is the dream. So let's get black on. I love that record, The Dream with Black. And all month long, we've been giving out something from Macy's, who is the one-stop shop and premier destination for all of your holiday needs. <laughs> Okay, so in order to get this gift card, you have to do some work so you can end up with items like INC jewelry exclusively from Macy's.